Today we're going to run through how to download Speedmail compression software and use it in conjunction with the RegPod optimizer. Uh, so first off, we would need to log on to our website, which is www.globaltelesat.co.uk, and this will bring up our landing page. Along the top in the black bar, you'll see the accessories option. So if we hover above this and select data compression tools, this will bring you to a page which shows all of the offerings that we have, the majority are from Redport. Uh, so on the left hand side here, we'll see the Redport Wi-Fi optimizer for satellite phones and below that the Speedmail option. So the optimizer was designed to be used in conjunction with Speedmail and the Speedmail is a web compression tool. So this allows you to send and receive emails, uh, get grip, weather grip files via PredictWind, as well as a whole host of other features. If you already have a Redport optimizer purchased from ourselves, we should have provided you with a 12 month free subscription plan to Speedmail. So that's included in the price of the unit. Uh, if we haven't received that, then please get in contact and we can provide it straight away. Or if you have purchased an optimizer in the past from ourselves and you haven't received this, please get in contact with your original invoice number and we'll be able to set you up with an account. To download the software itself, we'll click into the Speedmail option and this will bring up a, the product page showing you the information of how the uh, software works, what it does and how it compresses your data to save on your airtime costs. If we scroll down to the bottom of the page, we will see the download links and also the terms and conditions which we'll need completed before we can set you up with an account um, and send over the details. Today I'm using a Windows computer, so I'll select the top option. We do also offer Windows multi-language and a version for Mac as well if you're using any of those operating systems. To download, simply click on the link. And we'll then save that to our desktop. As you can see, I've already downloaded it to my desktop. So we'll cancel this window and bring up this here. The download shouldn't take too long. Um, it's around 150 megabytes in size. Once that's downloaded, um, you will obviously see this icon XG setup, which we'll need to open. And we will press yes here to allow this through and the installation will begin. Simply press next on this. Agree to the terms and conditions. You don't need to change any of the components that are already selected on here. So we can simply press next again. Press next. Install. And this will then run through the installation of the program itself. As you can see on the left hand side, a few more icons have appeared now. So we have the Speedmail, Email and XWeb. If you're using the optimizer with a satellite phone, as the data rates are so slow on these handsets, we often recommend to try and avoid the XWeb because it won't work as expected. This, although the compression is very good on the software and the hardware, it's not quite good enough to load up web pages. So where possible, just stick to the emails and the grid files that were previously mentioned. Just have a couple of other things to install. So once the installation is complete, it will request that you restart the computer. Um, for this um, video in particular, I'm going to do that later. So I'm press finish. Once the installation is complete, we can select the Xgate icon and open that up. So now it gives you the activation wizard. Um, as mentioned, we will provide you with these lo login details. So please don't um, select any of the other options apart from enter user ID and password. Your user ID will be something that you can select. Um, if, it's, if it is unavailable at the time, then obviously we will give you the option to have an alternative username. Um, but these will be emailed to you once the terms and conditions have been completed um, for Speedmail. So we're going to go ahead and select enter user ID and password, select next. So this is another important screen. So this is going to decide how your connection is inputted into the computer. 
So if you have a RedPod optimizer, you need to stick to the Wi-Fi satellite terminal. And then in terminal type, you'll see a whole host of different options available. As an example for this one, we're going to use the optimizer Iridium handset. So that would be if you had an Iridium 9575, 9555, or a 9505A, um, that would allow data through the optimizer. We have a whole host of other options below that as well. So we have the Iridium Pilot, ISAP phone, Global Star handsets, Thraya handsets, as well as many others. Um, so if you had an Iridium handset, that's how your setup should look. So you would stick to Wi-Fi satellite terminal for method and then just choose your handset along with optimizer below. For this demonstration, I'm going to stick to network connection which works off of, a, off of a regular internet connection just so I can run through how to send and receive emails as well. Once you've selected your connection, it will then ask for the account information. So your real full name, this can be whatever you like. So I'll just pop in GTC here. And the username and password are the details that we will send over to you once the account is active and ready. So I'll let go ahead and enter in our demo one now. Once you've entered that, you don't need to change any of the other settings, so please ignore the gateway parameters, network timeouts, access restrictions, because they are all set as they should do. So once we've entered our account information, simply press OK, and you'll come up with the registration complete form, and we can press finish here. This is a brief video to run through how to change uh, your connection type on Speedmail or Lexgate compression software. The good thing with this tool is that it allows you to work with various satellite equipment as well as just a regular Wi-Fi connection. So if you are offshore, you can flip it over to your satellite phone, for example, and when you're back in the marina, you can flip it back to a marina Wi-Fi just to save on airtime costs. If you already have Speedmail installed, when you open it, you'll see a window that looks very similar to this. In order to change your connection type, you can simply go to Options, Settings, Connection, and about two thirds of the way down the page, you'll see connection information. So as you can see here at the moment, my connection is set to just use a regular Wi-Fi connection in order to send and receive emails and also get crib files. If I wanted to change this to optimizer with an Iridium handset, such as a 9575, I would leave default connection as network connection and in the type I would open this window up here and scroll down to where it says optimizer iridium handset. Simply select this and press OK. Now your Speedmail software will be programmed to use the optimizer with an iridium handset rather than using a Wi-Fi connection. Please bear in mind that as soon as you do do a send receive now, this will start to use your satellite airtime as long as your Iridium handset has a strong signal rather than a regular Wi-Fi connection. Today we're going to run through sending and receiving email when using a RedPod optimizer along with the Speedmail compression software. First of all, the uh, most obvious thing probably is to get your optimizer and power it on. This can be either by the plug charger that comes in the box, the DC charger, or the external battery that's available. Once the unit is powered on, we need to make sure we are connected to the Wi-Fi signal of the unit. This will show in your normal list of Wi-Fi connections, either as WXA102, 112, or 122, depending on the version that you have. If this isn't chosen, then Speedmail won't know how uh, to connect and send through, speed, uh, through the compression software itself. So it's definitely something that you need to remember to do. Once you're connected to the Wi-Fi, uh, we can open up Speedmail and open up iScribe, which is the email client for Speedmail. We can send and receive our emails just as you normally would. So we'll open up this email here, put in the recipient address and press enter. We will then enter the subject as well as any body of the email that you want in there. Once you're happy with the email, you can simply press send, which will put it into the outbox of the iScribe client. You can compose as many emails as you like and put into this outbox. 
And once you are ready to send, they'll all send at once rather than you having to be connected all of the time on a regular connection to send and receive the emails. Once you're happy with your emails, simply press the X gate option along the top. This will bring you back to the Speedmail screen. And then we can do a send and receive transmission, which will send out any uh, data such as emails and receive any incoming emails as well. So I'll go ahead and press this now. So as you can see, it's run through the process. It's sent my one email, which I have composed, and told me the size of it, check to see if there's any incoming emails, which there is not. So the mail transaction is complete and it is automatically finished. If we had an incoming email, it would simply go straight into the inbox of iScribe, as you can see the two unread emails that are listed there.